What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Please Kill Me Please and the date today is the 6th of October year 2022, right? Yeah, alright. Um, so, in today's weekly video, uh, we're gonna go through the events as it is and we're gonna try to complete all the events later on as usual. So, um, these are the events of the week this one still has 14 days to go but basically it's a VIP kind of event we're gonna do a unveiling of my this picture which I think I need a bit more these are basically all the ways to get the what do we call it puzzle pieces um, yeah and the pavilion of treasures this basically so it's a vip kind of event there's also the treasure box which is gonna be complete later on the heavenly divination this is usually how i do this all right i got it in first try so usually i'll try to roll until i get the what do we call it mm, the four star shard um yeah um there's also the smithy event the Empress Vault looks like this, okay, and for next week, it's a major event week where we have the event summon coming in about 5 hours time. So besides those events, let's check this out, oh, this the pay stuff, um, we really complete all this stuff, we got the rewards, alright, uh, I'm not too sure what's the basic supply ticket used for yet. Um, there's the Infinite Ruins, which is ending in about 5 hours time. Personally, I love that event. And there's also the Holiday Trip, where you actually have to do it on a daily basis. I kind of missed one of the days. Uh, but this is game time. I'm gonna do this one. Uh, okay. I kind of just wake up, so <laughs> still feeling a bit blur. All these mini games are pretty fun to play, honestly saying. Not too much. One time a day is fine. Uh, oh crap. Okay. Um, this, this, and this. Basically, it's trying to get the thing where you hit the line, best cooking time, as many as you can consecutively. Uh, Alright, did I score higher than average? Yeah. If you wanna try to get this, it's pretty hard. You can keep trying, but uh, I'm not gonna try it. Alright, I've tried it before, it's not that easy. 15 dishes is... Uh, not that easy. Quick claim. Okay, so we got more of this stuff, which I guess we have to spend it over here. But this event ends in about 14 days. Um, this is that. Starts in 7. This is the holiday trip. Travel guide. Yeah, so basically I still consider this like a minor week event. Because it's only the heavenly divination week so yep I'm gonna press all the red buttons first and okay we got our daily quest done so that gives us one more puzzle to complete the portrait BAM Thanks for the 10 scrolls. I'm not too sure what hero is this, but we're gonna do a uh, first impression of this, this hero called Jingwei later on in the later part of the video. So basically, that's for it for now. We're gonna come back later on and do the rest of the stuff, alright? <clears throat> alright, so uh, we just completed all the 
not completed. Okay, let's 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 find the hero first. We need to go to the handbook. Is it a light? Oh, is it this? No, it's the assassin. Serious? It's a light priest. Oh, it's a light specialist. All right, she kind of looks like a priest. Uh, she's a bit like see her if you look closely but she's holding a bow an arrow so it's a specialist um, checking out her stats compared to our previous specialist with Jiang Zia 32181611 okay generally she's much faster I noticed something that is super rare, it's the speed. 1245 is the highest speed ever I've ever seen. It used to be uh, I mean the fastest ones was 1212. I think 1232 is the highest, but now they introduce something higher than oh there's 1246 over here. Uh, which makes Jingwei the second fastest of all time. Okay, uh, let's check out the skills first. Okay, active ability called Radiance. Jingwei builds up the strength. Okay, this looks pretty, pretty familiar. For those of you guys that do not play Idol Hero, uh, both of these games are by the same developer, which is DH. Um, so they are kind of similar in terms of the heroes and the specs and the flow and the main difference is one is playing uh, vertically, one is horizontally. I play both, so once I read the skills, I kind of understand where this is coming from. Okay, so this is basically like Russell in Idol Heroes, if you guys don't know. Um, honestly, saying between these two games, um, Ode to Hero is much easier. Okay, it's like two or three times easier compared to Ode to Heroes. Okay, don't believe me, you can go and try. Um, especially for those idle hero players, if you get bored of the game, you can come try this one because it's much easier. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, this one basically is something like the Mu Guiying and that. She charges up, bam, 2000% damage in total, it wrecks everyone. Um, so, I believe I'm going to summon her for next week's event because I have all the stuff saved up also. Um, the second passive ability it calls Unswerving Commitment, 25% attack, eh, sorry, HP, 30% attack, crit damage, control resist, speed plus 50. And if anyone dies, uh, anyone, I guess it means enemies or allies, increases self innate damage by 25% for 4 rounds, which is pretty strong, alright. A uh, Feather Spirit replaces the basic attack with shots, shoots one light arrow to the end with the lowest HP and the one with the highest attack res respectively. So two arrows I guess. Okay, gains the buff and then it readies the shotgun for the active, something like that. Mm -hmm. Blazing Sun. At the beginning of each round, restores 4 self HP equal to 450% attack, gains 1 layer of light feather, and for 4 rounds, 100% to daze enemy with the highest attack. Okay, it's exactly like Russell, which was the meta last time. Um, so I guess everyone should try and get her. She's definitely an OP hero with one of the fastest speed. Um, this is definitely not the tankiest hero in the game, definitely. Uh, but you need to have a team of priests or mages to you know protect this this is definitely a carry because um, she heals she deals crazy amount of damage um, she gains damage over time so yeah it's pretty solid hero pretty solid hero <coughs> so I guess that's the uh, first impression of the new hero Jingwei also known as Russell. Alright, um, we're gonna take a break for now and come back later on. 
Alright, so I do believe this is going to be one of the last parts of the video because this week is still considered a minor event. So we are here at the unlocking mechanism. Um, we have still a bit to click. I think that's it, right? 36 of this stuff is what we usually get anyway. So yeah. We're gonna spin this wheel. Um, the main hero on the pool is Shangyang. Honestly, saying Shangyang is kind of like sushi, but the more potent or stronger version of sushi. That's how I personally think about Shangyang. I I I I I tried to you know make my Shangyang work, but it it doesn't work. <laughs> Honestly, saying in my team, um, there's a few reasons why. Probably, perhaps, um, my defensive side is not too strong. I don't know, it just doesn't really pop out in my team. But for other teams I've seen, Shangyang is really doing pretty awesome work, I've seen. But just not in my team, for whatever reason. Okay. So the biggest prize pool is definitely going to be the 10 Azure Horns. I'm not sure whether we got the chance to get that. But anyway... Let's pray and hope. The RNG gives us what we want, right? or scrolls. No Shangyang. Okay. We got it. We got the 10 Zerhans. This is amazing luck. I consider. We have 22 more of these puzzles to go through. I mean unlocking mechanisms. This should take about another 2 or 3 minutes to complete. I'm pressing as fast as I can. I mean I've done plenty of this stuff. I was thinking to like don't do it on camera with you guys and just show you the results which I kind of thing is a bit better than doing it manually because it doesn't require any brain and it has been recorded multiple times over the course of one or two years so let me know what you guys think all right in the comment section But this is generally how I play my game. I mean, I don't do it on a daily basis. I'll try to accumulate everything I have and do it on the last day because it's just more fun and exciting. And you won't miss out, I guess. Doing it on a daily basis doesn't... It's not as fun as this, right? Doing 36 in one go. Okay, big wheel time. 10 scrolls would be cool. Sage decrease. Nice. This is the last 10. I think we have one more chance to go in the hole. That's it. There goes my chance. Five. No. Yep, it's gonna be that. The one I don't need the most. Golden Spirit Slips. Honestly saying they should make a Golden Spirit Slips event. Because I have a few thousand of those stuff. And I do not know when to spend it. 
because on average you just need to spin one or two times every week we're down to the last three guys i don't think we have any chance going into the big hole at all scrolls all right last one and we're gonna take a break okay so we got that done already we're gonna take a break right now <clears throat> okay um so basically i guess we are pretty much done with the events of the week i just need to do two more times of this and we're gonna get the eh sorry a little bit more than two times okay we have finished using up the wheel we got the main reward so it's just worth it to refresh it for 20 gold this is the four star that i was talking about we'll try to get some other stuff okay three more i do believe we have more chances to grab other stuff Okay, so basically we are done, we completed 2 over 4 rounds, um, basically I'm trying to get the Wen Cheng priests are always good if you know what I mean, um, you can put them in the different fight stuff and they'll still perform well as a sub hero, uh, what do we call it, substitute hero, yeah, so my infinite ruins I'm not there yet I didn't complete 11 times which I think I should I'm not sure how they achieve these kind of scores these are crazy kind of scores but I do have about 11 of this stuff I need to do anyway um, it's the end of the week guys remember to complete your weekly quests what's this oh talisman fragment yeah um it's the end of the week remember to complete your weekly quest uh oh crap what's this summon friendship whoa it's a five star hero right there i should be able to do this right now still no do this bam I hope I can do one all right yeah yeah consider it done so yeah um, thanks for watching guys I really appreciate uh, you guys watching it all the way to the end um, but um, yeah thanks and ciao for now bye